Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 16, form 2, topic 2, we were dealing with properties and trends across the period, and we have done trends in physical properties of the elements in period 3. So today, lesson 17, we want to proceed to trends in chemical properties of the elements in period 3, and we are going to start with the number 1, that is reaction of period 3 elements with oxygen. Remember, in period 3, we were having 8 elements, so we want to see each element, how it is going to react with oxygen. So we start number 1, that's sodium. We are saying sodium reacts vigorously with oxygen to form a white solid, which is sodium oxide. So we are saying sodium reacting with oxygen, we are going to get sodium oxide. To write the chemical equation, 4 moles of sodium metal will react with 1 mole of oxygen gas, giving us 2 moles of sodium oxide, which is a white solid. So, we are saying the sodium oxide produced in this reaction readily dissolves in water to form an alkaline solution. So, we are having sodium oxide plus water, we are going to get sodium hydroxide. Remember, we said when a metal is reacted with oxygen, we are going to get metal oxide. When metal oxide is dissolved in water, remember we said we form metal hydroxide. So Sodium oxide, which is solid, plus water, which is liquid, what we are going to get there is sodium hydroxide, which is two of sodium hydroxide. So we go next to the second element in period 3, that's magnesium. So we are saying magnesium burns with a bright white flame to give a white solid, which is magnesium oxide. So to write the word equation, magnesium plus oxygen, we get magnesium oxide. And two of magnesium solid will react with one of oxygen gas, giving us two of magnesium oxide. So we are saying the magnesium oxide produced in the reaction is slightly soluble in water. And we are saying the solution formed is alkaline. So magnesium oxide plus water, we are going to get magnesium hydroxide. Remember we said magnesium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide are slightly soluble in water. So to write the chemical equation, we are having one of magnesium oxide solid reacting with one mole of water, which is liquid, giving us one mole of magnesium hydroxide solution, which is aqueous. So next we are going to go to the third element, that's aluminium. And we are saying aluminium fuel is usually coated with a layer of aluminium oxide. And aluminium oxide is written Al2O3. This prevents the reaction with oxygen when polished. Aluminium reacts slowly with oxygen to form a white solid, which is aluminium oxide. To write the word equation, aluminium plus oxygen, we get aluminium oxide. So, 4 of aluminium solid will react with 3 of oxygen gas, giving us 2 of aluminium oxide, which is solid. So, we're saying the aluminium oxide is insoluble in water. So, that means aluminium oxide does not dissolve in water. So, next we are going to go and see the fourth element. In bureau 3 that's silicon and we are saying silicon powder can only burn in oxygen with a condition that's at high temperatures of about 450 degrees Celsius to form solid silicon peroxide so to write the equation silicon balance oxygen we are going to get silicon peroxide to write the balance chemical equation we're having silicon solid reacting with oxygen gas giving us silicon peroxide which is a solid and we are saying the silicon peroxide is insoluble in water. Next, we are going to go to phosphorus. That's the fifth element in period 3. So we are saying phosphorus readily burns in oxygen with a bright orange flame to form a white solid, which is phosphorus 5 oxide. So phosphorus plus oxygen, we are going to get phosphorus 5 oxide. So how are we going to write the equation? We are having a phosphorus, which is written B4 solid balas 5 of oxygen gas we are going to get 2 mole of phosphorus 5 oxide so we are saying the phosphorus 5 oxide readily dissolves in water to form phosphorus 5 acid or phosphoric 5 acid which is an acidic solution to write the word equation phosphorus 5 oxide plus water we get we get phosphorus 5 acid or phosphoric 5 acid to write the chemical equation this is how we write phosphorus 5 oxide plus 3 of water we are going to get 2 moles of phosphorus 5 acid. Next, the sixth element is sulfur. And we are saying sulfur burns in oxygen with a bell blue flame or with a blue flame to form a gas, which is sulfur for oxide. So, to write the question, sulfur plus oxygen, we get sulfur for oxide, 
which is a gas. So sulfur plus oxygen gas and chemical equation, we are going to get one mole of sulfur peroxide gas. And we are saying the sulfur peroxide gas readily dissolves in water to give an acidic solution of sulfuric 4 acid, which is written H2SO3, which is easily oxidized to sulfuric 6 acid, which is written H2SO4. To write the equation, what equation? Sulfur peroxide plus water, sulfuric 4 acid. Chemical equation, one mole of sulfur peroxide gas will react with one mole of water, giving us one mole of sulfuric 4 acid. Sulfuric 4 acid plus oxygen, it will be oxidized to sulfuric 6 acid. How do you write? Two mole of sulfuric 4 acid will react with one mole of oxygen gas. We are going to get two mole of sulfuric 6 acid. Next, we are going to go to chlorine, and we are saying chlorine binds in oxygen under certain conditions to form an acidic oxide, while we are told argon is not reactive. Remember, we said argon is a member of a noble gases, and we say noble gases are inert or they don't they're stable, therefore they don't take part in a chemical reaction. So next we want to see from the above observations the following trends in the elements of period three can be identified. Number one, we're saying all the elements across the period three, with the exception of argon, burn in oxygen to form an oxide. Remember we're having nature of oxides or we're having types of oxides. So we were having basic oxides. Uh, example here, we were having sodium and also magnesium when they burn in oxygen they were forming basic oxides the reason why they are having basic oxide is that because when they are dissolved in water they form a basic solution or an alkaline solution so next we are having aluminium when aluminium burns in oxygen what we are going to get there is an photeric oxide what are anphotelic oxide? They show both acidic and also basic characteristics. Then next we will have in silicon, that side of uh, phosphorus, sulfur, and also chlorine. So we're having phosphorus and sulfur being acidic, acidic oxide. Even silicon peroxide is also an acidic oxide. Okay, next we are saying the reactivity of metals with oxygen decreases from left to right across the period that means sodium is the most reactive of the three metals in the period and aluminium is the least the order of reactivity with oxygen is therefore sodium magnesium and aluminium remember we said sodium is the most reactive metal when we are talking about group i mean period three elements because we are dealing with period three elements this is because this is because of the increase in the nuclear charge from so sodium to aluminium which makes it easier to remove an electron from sodium atom than from an aluminium atom or we can say this because sodium has a higher tendency of losing electron compared to magnesium and also aluminium so next we are saying metallic elements burning oxygen to form basic oxides. Soluble metallic oxides dissolve in water to form an alkaline solution. We have said, we have explained that long time ago. Then we are saying the reactivity of the nonmetals, nonmetallic elements with oxygen increases from left to right across the period. That means, remember we said the most reactive nonmetal is chlorine when we talk about the period three elements, when we talk about the period three elements alone. So that means the reactivity is going to increase from left to right when we're talking about the non-metallic elements. This is because the ease of gaining electrons increases from left to right. Then that means phosphorus is the least reactive and chlorine is the most reactive. The order of the reactivity with oxygen starting with the most reactive is therefore chlorine, sulfur and phosphorus. We are saying non-metals react by gaining electrons, whereas metals react by losing electrons or by donating electrons. Then last, we are saying the non-metallic elements burn in oxygen to form acidic oxides, which dissolve in water to form acidic solutions. For example, sulfur peroxide, I mean sulfur, will react with oxygen to form sulfur peroxide, which is an acidic oxide. Then sulfur peroxide gas dissolves in water to form sulfuric 6 acid, which is an acidic solution. So learners, that's the end of our video today. Thank you.